are the woolen women. No. <laughs> every week. I do it every, every time. Week. All right. Take two. Take three. Hi, everyone. You didn't oh, do anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's try again, try Don't again. forget about what we're drinking. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. Take four. Hi, Hi everyone. everyone. I'm Andrea. I'm Aggie. And we are the, the Woolen Women. Women. We're a crafty but crazy bunch. We talk about everything from sewing and bag making to polymer clay making and, of course, my indie dyeing. Each episode, the Woolen Women have a giveaway, so uh, stay tuned till the end to find out how to enter and what you'll win for uh, the next episode when we draw a winner. Okay. Uh, this week, we are only two of the three Woolen Women yeah. who are missing the polymer clay maker, Samantha. Uh, she's busy making the largest order she's had to date, uh, which you'll probably find out more about, what, in like a week? Another couple months, probably. Oh, and then, oh, they push the order. Okay, yeah. so another couple months, you'll find out what her top secret is. Polymer and we could talk about it, yeah. yeah. But she's busy making those. I think she had uh, quite a few thousand to make, so she's yes. got to pump those out, and it's just us this week. Yeah. 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 So what are we drinking? Oh, um, we're having some, what is it? This is Louis Martini, some kind of um, red, blend. red blend. Yeah. Pinot Noir, right? Uh, no, I think it's a blend. Oh, yeah, it's good. It's, it's hurting my tongue a little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good. So get your glass or whatever you're drinking and get your knitting and we're going to talk about our knitting because it's been a little bit because we have a sick pop-up so it's not been fun yeah, yeah. so last week we been told hard. you pop-up's been here and he's here to recover from his brain surgery but they've also sent in hospice because he wants to be comfortable um he does have brain cancer and it's yeah so it's terminal so yeah. they're just making him as comfortable as possible yeah. um and no so new we've been, updates on you know, that, dealing really. with that. Yeah, so he's it's been, been doing rough. as well as can be expected. Yeah. And, but it's been a little rough. We haven't gotten much sleep, so we're yeah. a little late. We apologize, but yes, uh, bear we're with us. We're trying our best. Right. She has a Patreon, so she's also doing that. Yeah. So if you want to check out like behind the scenes or get some more content right. uh, in the meantime, check out PH Dyer on Patreon. I have behind the scenes making uh, monthly commissions. Right. Uh, and you get all access to my Instagram. Yeah, and stuff all the like makes. That, so. <laughs> all the makes. Yeah. Yep. And some exciting news: we are going to start a floss tube. Floss tube. So remember how we showed you our cross stitching? We're really into yeah. it. Yeah. So now <laughs> we've bad. we've really gone down the cross stitching yes. rabbit hole. Yes. It's it's bad. And We're like really bad. Now. We are excited to announce. But what's we our are name? excited. Oh, what was our name again? The Seashore Stitchers. Seashore Stitchers. Yes. I forgot. We typed it in. I don't think anything came up. Right? No, they Nobody didn't. Else has that. We're definitely going to be the okay. Seashore Stitchers. Yes. So yeah. really, we we're, we're excited about actually that. Actually, contemplating on going to the seashore, which is only a couple blocks I away. I know, and but it's always windy. Yeah, so I don't you know. can't. I don't not with string. Yeah, yeah, you can't. So you should Knitting's see us try easier. to thread the needle when there's no wind. Right, and you should see trying to knit with mohair when there's wind. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> they did see that on the IGTV thing. Yeah, I know we were, we were knitting. knitting on the beach. If you haven't checked out that yeah. video, you should check right. it out on Instagram. Uh, but yeah, so we'll be the Seashore Stitchers. We're actually going to film that floss tube right after this podcast. Right. Uh, so we'll be, we'll be continuing this knitting podcast, but we will not show cross stitch as much on here because we're going to transfer it over to our new right. channel. Yeah. Um, are we going to post it on the Woolen Women channel? Yeah. Yeah. So it'll yeah. still be posted should on we, the Woolen Women channel. Or should we channel. make a whole new one? No, I think it should be on the Woolen Women channel and then we should do like seashore stitchers on the episode. Oh, okay. Just like I do with my PH dyer. All my videos are going to be yeah. released on the Woolen Women because I'm right. part of the Woolen Because Women. a lot of knitters and crocheters also do a lot of other things just like we do we do everything and i'm i'm thinking of really getting into my spinning because they're going to have uh you know the knit mark girls have that uh tour de fleece every year and you spin every day for a few minutes i would and love to do it behind the scenes yeah we need to Patreon. do it like so, we got a beautiful we spinning wheel. wheel i barely use even I feel my bad. hand spinner when we were yeah even our hand spinner mountains, she's really good i spun like a whole little tiny bolt thing yeah just it was um BFL mixed with BFL a camel silk blend. merino with uh, right no BFL no, BFL's different yeah uh, it's wool though that with uh, we we blend carded it with yeah. um, a camel silk blend where baby did Carter's camel. go I don't know that's weird 
What was that? I'm like, where did those go? All right, we'll have to look for them. Oh That's crazy. I haven't seen them in they forever. They weren't cheap either, and they're hard to use. Kills your wrist. Mm -hmm. I don't At least the way I was right doing now. it, it was killing me. Now I'm wondering. We're going to have to look for them. Yeah, we have to look as soon as we're done. But it was BFL remember. that I mixed Should with the baby. Should be in one of these bags. It was a baby camel. A baby camel. Blend. Oh, it, we blended it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was gorgeous. So in here. here's what the blend looks like. Looks like. Is it yeah. focusing? You were doing pretty I good. It is. I think it so. Is, oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Um. So this is what the blend looks like. What's this type of spinner called again? I forget. Um, Turkish. Turkish. Spinner. I bought it and I didn't really and like it, so here, I gave it to her. Look, my fiber's a mess. I gotta get this back. Yeah, we gotta this start. Oh, we, used, we should card all you this. You stole a lot of this camel, I did. didn't you? No, I stole that. Uh, no, you stole some of this too. That I feels gave like all this felted. to you. No, that's not. Fiat no, is kind of rough. Yeah. yeah. That's why I mixed it. Because feel it in the end. I know, in the end nice. result, I remember. Um, This is the camel. And it has like this awesome yeah, sheen to lines. it. And it's like super soft. Yeah. It is probably the softest thing I've ever felt. It's excellent. So I mixed these two. Oh, you did at home. Yeah. But the one I mixed was that that's Merino up there. Oh, you did? The first time she spun it a little bit when we were at a cabin, we were on vacation in the winter. And we mixed the, the roving of Merino wool with the camel oh my god it was so soft yeah it was do you remember that yep god that was great so i may I actually you kept that start wool. doing that again because i really want to yeah because we got to learn to ply i gave I never you did any. most of my wool yeah it's in that bag yeah you stole all yeah, my stuff in that bag. so when i was getting my phd she um decided... i started spinning and it was really going yeah. fast so i thought oh let me have her send so I gave me her most of I, my stuff and i never did it yeah. So I'll have to do that. So look out for our full. floss tube. We're going to film the first episode. I should yeah. have it up by like sometime this week. Keep an eye on our Instagrams and we'll yeah. we'll tell you when it's up. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. What, well, yeah. I don't want to tell what you're wearing. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing my uh, the little show I made. What was it called? Exordium. Exordium. Yeah, it came like out really one. nice. And it's perfect. Just a little like kerchief. I like it. I was um, cold. Now I'm getting hot because I drank the wine. Cold. Oh, I remember. Oh, and she's wearing. I am wearing a Castellet sweater that That's I made. That's the, the crazy sweater she made, but I love it. On a young I person, like I think it it's now. awesome. This is the Summer Lovin'. This was just a pink that I added to it because yeah. Summer Lovin' has some pink in it. But um, the red kind of took over. The red took yeah. over because this was a different base that I had originally started to dye with. It doesn't take the dye up as like vibrant. That's right. I've since like switched over yeah, we to didn't a like better that supplier, one. and I, I really it's like it. It's kind of spongy. Better. Yeah. But for now, this is what it's it really cute. Like, really I think she should wear it at the beach. And over I did her like a little suit. bit of pink on the cuffs. Because it gets too. chilly down there at yeah. late in the day. I kind of like it now. Oh, I do too. I I'm think not, it's great. I don't hate it anymore. So I don't either. I hated it. The pink mm. in it at first. You got hair in your glass. It's right here. <laughs> Sorry. Some camel in there. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, how are we on our knit along? Oh, so the knit along ends June thirtieth. Oh, no yeah, the end of uh, June. I knitted until my wrist gave out, so I'm doing quite yeah, she well. She hurt herself. I should be finished by Soon, yeah. June thirtieth. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, now these colors aren't hers. These are this from is, uh, Moonstone Dye Works and, and Sweet Sparrow. Sweet Sparrow yarns. Let's see though. Get to get to so many ends to tie It's in. so beautiful, I know. So, oh, it's so pretty. And if you've seen my Instagram, awesome. you know I've been nonstop working on it. Yep. It's coming out really beautiful. Skyrat. Loving the yellows. <laughs> yeah, I still got my sky right on. Here's yeah. the progress I made. From the last time. A she, day ago. A day ago, yeah. There's she, my little sky she rat. She did from the sky right up. So. Yeah, and that would hurt your wrist. I you made a lot it. of progress, but I overdid it. Yeah, you got to be long careful. It is. I've started to level out where the one side, you start to drop the yarn overs. Yeah, so it goes... Uh, so my one side is straight. Straight. And then the other side yeah. continues to be a point. I had to start another one because Samantha's going to get married in August. And, of course, she wants one for her wedding. So Andrea dyed up some yarn. I'd hold this. It's not any specific colorway that I make, but I... No, she just did a light... Thing. I formulated a, a special oh, wait, delicate lavender, which is like her wedding color, a really light lavender. Yeah, I got white mohair, just plain, not dyed. Yeah. With, it's isn't beautiful. it beautiful? 
Yeah. Oh, it's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be And gorgeous. I put her wedding color, like yeah. the light purple. She made bottles a long time yeah, ago, I Samantha. And she did a white rose. So I put them as progress keepers. It's looking great. Oh, I can't keep the progress keepers on the mohair. Uh, I feel like it pulls it. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, slub. So and this is 75, regular. 25 mohair and, and then slub. the 9010 slub base. Yeah, the slub will be all the garter and it's yeah. birds of a feather. My, I did an orange and blue one if you watched the last two things. I'm almost done that one. I put it down to do Andrea's work. <laughs> that she dyed up this and I couldn't resist. Look how gorgeous. She loves the Echeveria succulent Oh, it's gorgeous. Colorway. I feel like this would have made a beautiful uh, I love wedding shawl. If you don't knit on this, for like, the fall? I need to knit on this. I know, it's great. You'll have to help me so we can yeah, get it done. It. But they're ones she dyed up and they're just gorgeous. After and look, she I got knitted this her little, uh, and we posted it a couple times, thing. it became a very popular Yeah, people are ordering people it and really I'm thrilled because I, I want to make it. People need to see what it's going to look like. You know? It's so beautiful yeah. and it's beautiful to work on that and i am the, knitting three of them there's literally three floral keepsake ones hanging here hanging here right now ready to go out tomorrow and she also knit that funny. in a shawl and that sold yeah two after that's in a girl's it. best friend and that was great because i'm going it's i have my to finish that like why isn't anybody buying first. it i'm thinking like it's so beautiful and it was so underrated nobody bought it for a while and then yeah. she knitted up i and knitted it up loved it. that's all it takes i just because I made Andrew a girl's best friend years ago, and I didn't get one, and I really wanted one. So I thought, well, she's dying yarn. Let me, you know, show it. So, and you know, she, she mixed the reclaimed, her business. reclaimed, which looks like reclaimed wood, and the yeah. floral keepsake she mixed and with the girl's best friend. Yeah. She's doing, like, different sections of it. I should show it. it. Forgot. And the enchanted ivy. Let so now... I didn't bring yeah, it over. It. Why? So now it's one of those people shawls. are buying them as a combination. People I'm love them. So and I agree. That. It's like my favorite thing right now. Floral keepsake I'm obsessed with. And I'm still working on my Shelly top. I haven't finished that for Samantha. Here it is. And it's beautiful. Ow, my knee. <laughs> <laughs> What's the cat of the knee? I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my yeah. god. Look, my cat came over to see if it's okay. Oh, I'm not. It hurts really bad. I have a civil war. Oh my god, if I hit that leg one more time. Look, I, I, I can't. Of course, I, I finished on the mid row. Oh, look at it. Isn't it beautiful? It's gorgeous. This is the floral keepsake down here. Down there. Look at that. So pretty. Then we got the dark greenish blue. That's enchanted ivy. And this is the reclaimed. No. Yeah, reclaimed. Yeah, this is reclaimed wood. I mean, just beautiful. But I had to put this down because now I got to make a wedding shawl. And I just want to bang that out. I don't want to have her waiting. You know what I mean? Like, I'm scared. When it's coming up in August. Like, that's when I'll hurt my wrist or something. <laughs> something will happen. such little time. And of course, you know, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> so we don't want to do that. Watch. Let me put that there. I got in the cute bag. I made these cute bags with the different colors, you know. I love that when they're sectioned off. Like I that. did too. And I this one's mine because I made a pocket. It was my first inside zipper. And of course it didn't come out perfect. It's messed up right there. Oh, so I, I thought, like well, I guess it's mine. <laughs> one time I streamed. I was on the phone with Samantha and we're both sewing. And I was like, guess it's mine. <laughs> She was hysterical. It's so true. It's so oh my true. God, she laughed so hard. And I was so upset that I I messed up again. I have a stash of uh, the women fibers that just like, they were mine. They're starting, yeah. We're start, I was like, you've got to just put them up for one-offs and, and sell And now them I am. Like, now I have a set. Yeah. I did two gnome kisses that the same wrong funny. way. So now they're gnome hugs and it's a set. So hurts. <laughs> Somebody will love them. I love them. Oh, uh, we still love them. Yeah. So Any other shows? I should be done... The knit along by the 30th you'll um, have like three i starts. sure might be able to I'm samantha's still samantha's. working on the pure joy but hasn't gotten to too much because yeah, she's because working of her big on order. her big yeah. order yeah um besides that do you have any other whips oh yeah i started working on some socks in between these i got for knit crate and of course i got samantha's charm on it oh, look they're that. cute aren't they <laughs> Yeah, look really adorable. Really I love the mushroom on it. I know. It matches really well. They're really cute. Love the micro striping. I've just been working up. on them a little here and there. Not too much. But it's new since the last time. Wait a minute. 
Oh, yeah. oh, I do is leave it out and it okay. gets tangled. Tangled, yeah, I know. I don't want to do that. Um, here, and this is another sock. This was one of Andrea's. She uh, tried to do stripes, but it didn't work out too well. But it looks great. So it worked out well. Yeah. It's just the process didn't Look, work out well. Look, I got a well. blue starfish on there. So it striped the way it was supposed to, but it was a nightmare for me to actually produce the yarn. Yeah. I don't know if it would be something uh, I could reproduce multiple times until maybe yeah, I so practice. we'll come back to that. <laughs> uh, but she's knitting it up because we want yeah. to waste it. So I don't know if I'll do self-striping anytime soon. Cause... And I think that's it for me. Okay. Yeah. Mine is, I had shown you the colors I was going to do for Sorry, two of the sweaters I wanted to make. The sheer VT. Oh, she had a hell of Which I've casted it. on like seven, seven times, times now. <laughs> the oh, most recent out. cast on. Oh, we got to take that out. And for my patrons, my patrons know how serious this has been. Yeah. Because I have literally frogged it like what four or yeah. five times this is my first tag I know, thank I you love it. um so this is waste yarn down here the pink but this is the mother of pearl colorway in a hundred percent superwash wool and it's just like subtle pinks purples and blues and it's mm -hmm. beautiful pretty yeah and like sandy colors get washed I love out it. i think yeah it gets washed out on the camera yeah, but it is camera. mother of pearl they're called Mother of Pearl. It's a um, no hair. Basically, I started with the extra, extra small because the bust size seemed to match Wait, what we I gotta needed. we got to show them a picture. They know what the sheer V is. Yeah? Here, I can take it out and get it. Yeah, show a picture. Um, basically, I started with an extra, extra small. And I did gauge and all. Everything came out to what we wanted. It was even supposed to be bigger than we needed it. Yeah, but it, it ended too, up being too small. super small. Yeah. Like, alarmingly small. This is the sheer V T. Has that sheer Sorry. panel on the front. Um, I'm actually Thank going. And the whole thing calls for like holding fingering weight with mohair together on the body, but I'm actually just going to do fingering weight alone, and then just do the mohair panel for the V. Um, it's intarsia knitting mm -hmm. to make that V pattern, so I'm excited about that. Um, but now I'm doing the small oh size with like 76 stitches cast What's on. In here? That's my other sweater. Oh. She's got all the sweaters. Yeah. So I've casted this on again. This is the tubular cast on. I should be done this one by one tubular. This is really Same. nice. Yeah. And then the other, so my goal was to try different color work techniques and Tarzia knitting is one of them that you can use for color work, even though this will be in the same color. Um, yeah, but the other stoppers. one that is actual single stranded color work, I am doing the half moon tee by Dragon Horde Yarns. Um, and I had shown you it was like this Northern Lights colorway. Sorry, I have a really small needle. Uh, Dragon Horde Yarns, the Half Moon Tea. She's great. So this is my first color work project and it actually goes this way because this would be the neck. But I think it's coming out really good. There's little triangles there, see them? Yeah. I'm really excited about I it. I like so it. It's I gonna be bright, working on and it. And then all the other stuff is going to be like. She's doing black. really well with her floats and all in back. Yeah, actually, they came yeah, out. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good. good. I don't know. For our first time? Yeah. Like, it's a gift. I think they're pretty good. It's a gift. But <laughs> I'll have to compare a little because I don't actually know. Very nice. What yarn is this? Uh, Northern Lights by Robin's Roost. And then the black is Ooh. mine. It's actually a mistake I made where I had to oh, just like... Oh, good with your... Yeah, the yeah. thing of floating, is that Yeah, weird? that's nice. But she's got more of a purpley color in there. Yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, so... They're all beautiful. I mean, they really are. So those are like my two Oops, awesome. different techniques sure. that I'm trying out for this month, which I'm kind of excited that's about. Nice. It's for security or something. And then I still have my Ziggy shawl, which I got two more sections it's done so on. It's gorgeous. Do you want to hold it out? Christina, I have the we keep time. ending. <laughs> oh, I did. It's because of all this going on. We, we can't. Did. We run. We have to put it down and run. All right. So maybe get the bottom. You know, right so he doesn't fall. Is. So this is the Ziggy shawl. Um, so beautiful. Yeah, I finished like two more panels. Sorry, we can't stretch it. <gasps> Whose is this? Uh, this is. No, I mean, who's getting it? <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know. Who made this again? Christmas. <laughs> this is. Uh, no, it's uh yes, it's a hoagie's pattern. Ziggy. But it's Christina, uh Chelsea Yarns. Chelsea Yarns did this is the 
pink peony, and then this is the rose gold. Yeah. So those are the two that I'm alternating. Yeah, she did. Uh, I love this one, but after you get to a lace section, <laughs> it can get really stressful for me because I always mess up the lace section. Oh, um, yeah. Maple yeah, my make I have to have that or I just can't do it for I some know. reason. They're like eight bucks, though. So I've been trying to collect them slowly. I won't lose it. I promise. I'll put it back in there. So that's my shawl. You saw my Very birds nice. of a feather shawl. And yeah. That's it for me. I have yeah. some socks that I've been working on. They're just vanilla knit socks. Um. Oh, my yarns, I guess, are one of my things. Yeah, your makes. <laughs> my tonals. Can you, John? Can you get my tonals in Where that bag right there? Be oh, careful. So I don't. If any of you have checked out uh, my Instagram, you've probably seen I have a new. Oh look, you could hold the bag like rich. Yarn I have a new tonal line collection that came yeah. out. So, so this one that I know these two, right? That's what I thought. You're gonna have to do it for me. I don't yeah. have a. Sorry, do you see the big okay. cone cashmere? So we do is so they can see it. I would go into cashmere. We're showcasing them. I was telling one of my customers. One more. And friend. Okay. Kissing muffin. So I try to always do both blue because I'm blue. a fan of like really bright colors, but I'm also a fan of really subdued yeah. like soft colors. So this one's called Outlaw. This was like it's originally, nice. I wanted to like do a colorway that kind of reminded me of like cowboy boots. Yeah. That's like good. working man boots. That's Christina's name. So, <laughs> what? Like my favorite leather boots. <laughs> yeah, but she does more of like a picture like women's sexy boots. I, yeah. I wanted it to be like darker, like, like line dancing yeah. or like, you know. Men's, when, yeah. Like my best night ever in South Carolina was when I went line dancing and yeah. I wanted it to look like the boots that they have mm -hmm. on, like worn boots. So yeah. like that. It came out great. And then... I want a sweater in this, sweater in Concrete that. jungle. <laughs> sweater in and that. all of these are shown on a 75, 25 and a mohair silk blend. It's like yeah. 72, 28 mohair oh, silk. Oh, so soft. Um, concrete jungle. Nice blend. It's like a tonal gray. And then I have, this is my favorite. The yeah, Virtue. that with the gray. Virtue pink. What's it's blowing like out soft, some. Yeah, yeah, so it looks even softer on it's the camera. Soft, it has a little but it's more beautiful. pink to it, actually. You can see it's maybe pink. Maybe if I get closer, no. Now it's not it coming up help. as pink as okay. it is. But it's a beautiful soft pink. It's just pink. a light, soft pink. Yeah, it's beautiful. These ones these go together go perfect. so good. Oh. So. You're going to have to let me do something. Awesome. Uh, and then the bright ones. You have to take a hit. This is. Oh, we love this, too. This is Mystique. I wish I wasn't old. I could wear that. Mystique. Or I guess I could anyway. Um, came out really cool because it looks like a little bit of pink and purple, but actually there's only dye. It's one color. The dye breaks in the yeah. low immersion pot and it makes this cool, like, tonal Pinky purple. Pinky purple. Yeah, so really cool. Christy Glass needs and that. And then this <laughs> is Mommy's favorite. This is Siren. Oh, the blue. I love the blue. I was telling Yvonne to look in the store because yeah. the blue is exceptional. So I love the blue, too. Now it's growing on me. Um, so this was originally like based on the caribbean like i miss traveling mm -hmm. we always used to take a cruise like once every couple of years I know, I or miss so it. and i really wanted to mimic like the caribbean How about they, did you scene. hear they shut them down till september 15th yeah so, so this is siren any off. finished objects i don't think we have mm -hmm. any finished objects no and i want to finish something we do have cross stitch however but check out the floss tube yes to see that. our cross stitch and we have quite a few projects that we ordered i wonder if we should put it on our we probably should start a different channel for no. it. Floss so? tube. But we are the woolen women. Yeah, and I we know. cross stitch. Then that's the church <laughs> <laughs> We are the woolen women at the seashore cross stitching. <laughs> Wait, but you're right. Then we would be the seashore stitchers. Yeah, see, it's a different. What if we just remain the woolen women and we did seashore stitching episodes? <laughs> yes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't either. We'll have to talk about that one. All Are right. we ready for this? Yeah. Maybe that's what we should do. So, maybe they should write their opinion. Should we start a oh, new yeah. channel? Do that. That's the Seashore Stitchers. Or should we keep it on the Woolen Women channel and just do Seashore Stitching episodes? We and you can that. comment below. Well, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to our channel. And like the video. And like the video. Us. And yeah. you win this puff. This was a one-off. This was supposed to be 
Moonwater Wishes, but it actually came out way too dark. I know it doesn't Beautiful. look that dark, but it's still unicorn esque. It looks like, metallic. Look at it. Yeah, it's oh my cool. god, look it really like, does. Look right here. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Away so hopefully you'll have look. maybe you'll have something that could go with this and make a really cool yeah. hat. I think if you held something together, like maybe a purple or stain gloves. or something or gloves. Yeah. <laughs> so we're giving away. This is seventy two twenty eight. Uh, kid mohair silk blend. Yeah, it's nice. It's very soft. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got these beautiful, like, unicorn. Yeah, it's like I call a unicorn. It, it was supposed to be Moonwater Wishes, but this is like more unicorn kind of colors. Oh, it's gorgeous. Looks metallic. So, it's gorgeous. If you would like this, subscribe, like yeah. the video, and comment below to tell us whether or not you want us to make a separate channel called Seashore yeah. Stitches, or if you want us to Stickers. remain. <laughs> Putting it on the Woolen Women channel to add to this channel and just yeah. make episodes called the Seashore Stitchers. All right. Because maybe the, most of them like, I think we should leave it on and do the episode thing because we're still gonna be a lot of people women. still cross stitch that we do. Yeah, and we're still going to do Woolen Women knitting podcasts. We right. just want to also start a floss tube. Right. So we'll have to think fun. about that. We'll give it some thought, but we'd like to hear what you think. Yeah. So that's it. Anything else? I guess uh, thank you for joining us. All right. Thanks for saying. for your time. And I hope yes, everybody had a great much. Father's Day. If you got to spend time with oh, yeah, today's uh, Father's all Day. those special dads out there. Yeah. Um, we made a special dinner for ours. And I know we had a nice time. Yep. And we got to have dinner with Puff Up. So it was a nice yeah. nice day. It was so. a nice day. Samantha and Andrew went to the beach. That was really nice. Yeah. Hopefully I get to go tomorrow. I couldn't do that. I watched a podcast. I got so mad that I couldn't go to the beach. Samantha was like, you know what? Let's go Let's now. Just I was go. like, yes, yes, we Let's should. Do it. So we got up and we quick went because I yeah, couldn't miss it out. I stay up all night with Papa. If you try to stay for a time or yeah. do a time, it's very hard. Yeah, so. I keep just staying go. up with Pop Up, and then I can't get up in the morning, and everybody goes in the morning, so then I miss yeah, out. Yeah, so. I, I don't like. So we got to go, that. and it was it was nice. Yeah, so it just gets windy down there later in the day. day but it didn't know it was good. Right, and that doesn't really it bother you guys. They said the water was real. Uh, but it was. It, it was, was warmer. Yeah, yeah. I saw seaweed the and picture. jellyfish were pretty bad. Yeah, well, that's normal. But no, remember it was, the it was God. I remember bad. big ones. I mean, like this These big. These were jellyfish. tiny little clear ones. Yeah, yeah. babies. Yeah. But she was um, saying they were dead. They were. They were washed up. Oh, that's horrible. But they still sting you, like if you step on them. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Their little stingers remain active. I know Samantha was funny because Coda's sticking his finger and she's like, oh, he's stung. <laughs> he was. It just was funny. Uh, you know, we were like, it. don't touch. And, and then she was like, he's stung. Yeah. Just forget it. Yeah, he didn't seem to care. <laughs> he didn't. No, yeah. I don't think he got stung. Yeah. But it was funny the way she's like, oh, it just happened. <laughs> she couldn't stop it. Oh, it was All right. Funny. Well, we hope you guys had All right, a nice time you. and we appreciate your time. And yes. we'll see you in a week or two. Okay. Bye. Bye.